Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to continue looking at courses in uh, ClickFunnels 2.0. And last time we had left off after looking at the customer center and also the standard ClickFunnels login page that you have available with the magic magic code or whatever the heck they call it on there. And today we're going to move forward and we're going to start looking at some of the templates. As you know, we loaded up just an individual theme. That theme has like 20 different page templates in it. And so we're going to look to see how they interact with the site itself today. And before we do that, let's come in here and let's go to our pages first and come up to our themes. And there's really two main types we're going to be looking at here that have to do with the courses. And one, of course, you already know is the customer center. And then all the rest of them are all start with um, the word course in them. So let's just click on that and let's pull up the five that we have available. So here we have our course template page. We have our courses template page, courses sections template page, courses section template page and courses lesson template page and now that's not confusing at all don't worry about it it should be simple i'm lying and so what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this a little bit for ourselves until we get to the point where we understand what pages really are what inside of 2.0 so let's come in here i've already opened up the customer center you can click on it here you could go to your sites and funnels there's all kinds of different ways you can get into the page that we have here which is basically your site page and in the past we've talked about your home page for your hubs or your site in general you can have a storefront we haven't talked about that yet but blogs um this here is your blog home page your page not found all this other stuff well here we have our customer center page and let's go back here and let's take a look at what russell has here and in fact i need to log out real quick so when you're building your funnels on your customer center page one of the things you really should have is a link back to the customer center itself. I said on, on this page here, what I really mean is like on, a, on an actual course page, on a lesson page, anywhere, you should have a link back here so people can bounce back out, see all the different courses they have, come back into a different course. So make sure you put a link for that in there. And I'm sure I'll have examples as we go along. And so here we are in our Funnel Builder, this is the customer center page for ClickFunnels in general. These are all the products that I have available to me right now. And so that is basically what we are looking at here. And so it says customer center right there. It says customer center right here. Now on my theme, on your theme, it may not say customer center in really big print right here, but I'm going to show you something that I like to do, like I said, just to keep things straight in my head as I went through and started looking at these things and tried to demystify it. And that's really um, half the battle I found is once I got this straight in my head, I was just like, oh, you know, the, the light bulbs came on and I said, okay, I get Get it now okay so it's called that there and then down up here is called hero theme customer center okay so we got all three of these named exactly the same okay that's cool but now let's go to our course home page on your course home page you have inside of it your module lessons and your lesson page and in here so this would be your main course and then in here you would have each module for your course. Now, you're gonna see here, they call it sections, like you would have in 1.0. In 1.0 you had a course, then you had sections, and inside your sections you had your lessons. Well, inside of 2.0, you have your course, you have modules instead of sections, and you have lessons, but in a lot of places, they call the modules sections. So just be aware of that. So this is your course homepage. And inside of ClickFunnels, if we come to one of the more standard ones, not one like 2CCX where they got all kinds of specialty coding and stuff, a more standard one here for Funnelology, we can come here. This is our course page. Now you're going to look at this and go, okay, what's the big deal about this? We got a menu over here that we got to apparently click on to get this to open. I guess we got to click there. And then we have all these lessons inside of here. Or can we come down here to the bottom, click on this, and go to the lessons, I guess. And then you have all these lessons like this, which, again, I'm not a huge fan of that. And then we got to click the lesson again to move on to finally be able to get to the lesson. Or we could have, of course, as you see here, we could have come over here to the left-hand side, clicked on this, 
and brought us to the lesson. So the truth is they built this way too much like Kajabi as far as I'm concerned. They got way too many levels in here. And so again, as we move forward into this training and more of my higher advanced training, you're going to see where I basically remove most every single one of these levels. Let's see what happens when I click on home. Nope, it brings me there, customer center. Where's that gonna bring me? Okay, so that brought me right back here again. And so now let's go into a pages again. Let's go back here. So we got our course home. So here it's called course home. Up here is called course template page. So what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to get myself an H1 tag. I want to bring this up here and I want to change this text on this. And I want to say course home slash and then we got, what was this here? Course template page. So we got course template page. Okay, so there we go. We're going to save that. Now this is our template. Now you may want to change that right away and hopefully this thing will save. Um, you may want to use this course homepage because this is your course homepage. Each course will have its own homepage. Um, so are you going to make them all look the same? most likely because right now I'm not really sure if you can change it. You can duplicate pages. Um, you can uh, duplicate lessons. Um, I don't know if you can do really anything with modules at this point. So you're going to probably have to use pretty much this format for all of your course home pages. So we got this set up here now and we see this now. So we know this is now called the course template page. Well, we come back over here to our templates and here we have course template page, which is what we are now looking at. And in fact, let's see what happens when we open this in a new window. Let's see here. Nope, that didn't do it. So this one here may not have saved yet, it may not be saving. So let me do this. Let me reload the page. And let's see what we come up here with. And let's change this again. So we got here course uh, home. Course template page. Now let's try saving this. Click out of here first. It's causing all kinds of problems today. So now we should be saving it. So now let's see if we come over here and we say open in a new window. Yep, we're still not getting it, so it may take a little bit for that to kick in. But what I really wanted to show you here is the courses template page. For the life of me, I have no idea where you're supposed to, where this page comes in. I have no idea where you're supposed to use this page, and this is what it looks like, but I don't see anywhere where I can actually access this page and use it somewhere. So I guess I could use it as kind of a standalone page. I could create a link to it somewhere, but I don't know where it belongs in the grander scheme of things. So then let's keep moving down our page here. So then we have our module lessons. And this says category by category here. Well, actually, let's just, let's just keep everything consistent. We'll just put in a new headline. And so we're going to take this out of here, and we're going to say this is module lessons and the name of this template is courses section template page so courses section template page okay so let's click out of here let's save this page so courses section template page let's come back here courses sections template page. Let me see. We had section, singular, singular. Okay. Courses section template page. Again, I have no idea where this page belongs. It doesn't exist anywhere from anything that I've been able to find. So these two right here, I guess, are just like mystery children to me. And so then we found this page right here. We know we have that one. And now we have one left here, Courses Lesson Template page. That should be this one right here. So let us do the same thing. Let us add an element. We will, oops, let's do this again. Let's add an element, a headline element. Let's drag it up. And so we're going to call this one here, Lesson Page. 
and then what is it called? Courses, lesson, template, page. Courses, lesson, template, page. There we go. So now we have that one very well marked so that when you are going into your templates, when you're going into anywhere where you're going to see a highlight of this, you're actually going to see this text at the top of the page and you're going to be able to go, okay, that is the one I'm looking for. I know it is because I changed everything on it. So I know we're going to be able to do that. And I can't show you that exactly yet um, until we actually create a course. And then I'll be able to show you is that when you go in and you're going to choose which one of the templates you want to use, you can go, oh, okay, there's the template I want to use. And I can definitely tell us the one I want to use because you can see the text across there that I just put in here in case you're wondering why in the heck I was doing this in the first place. So like I said, in order just to get used to using this, get your feet wet, um, do yourself a favor, put this kind of stuff in there because when I did this, it made it a lot easier on me. So that's going to be it for this video. <coughs> what we're going to do next is I'm going to go back through each one of these, uh, these templates right here and show you some of the elements are in that are in there and work on some of those elements. Then we're going to actually build the course out using basically these standard elements. And then after that, that's when we're going to get into a little bit of the higher hacks and some of the ways to get around what I think are actually some of the deficiencies inside of the courses in 2.0. So until next time, if you've got any questions, just let me know.